Welcome to this week's video. Let me catch you guys up with where I'm going. So I'm back up in Itasca County. Mandy and I found that perfect camping ground at that dispersed boat landing location. There's more of them up here. And that's the plan this week to find out, can I get into more of those spots? I mean, that was absolutely beautiful. There's 11 dispersed camping spots at different boat landings in total. This county's got over a thousand lakes. The plan is to try and find them. This is all Chippewa National Forest, so you know, even if I can find a spot to pull off, we can make it a camping spot. getting a little rough, just a little. That, that was a big time bump right there. We better get out and look, um, cause the road ended and we went through a huge, huge dip. I think the camper probably jumped up out of the bed on that one. There's gonna be tons of mosquitoes out here, but we just gotta rough it. We can't go forward anymore because it definitely is wet. So I don't wanna go forward into that. No cell phone service out here or anything like that. Let's get the truck turned around. Looks like we can do that right here. And then we gotta get out of here. We'll go find Trestle Lake, where we should have been. I didn't get stuck up here. It's one of those things where, what do you do? Pin it, really? What else can you do? Oh, but we made it out. Let's get out of here, go find Trestle Lake because, oh, one more hole that we gotta get through. This one is a lot smaller. This is gonna be it right here. Let's see what it looks like. All the other boat landings I've been to here in Itasca County that have dispersed camping all have that sign that says this is designated camping area. I'm not seeing that sign here. I'm pretty sure this is the spot that they're talking about being a campsite. Let's go down by the lake and see if it's down there maybe. Chances are I could stay here, wouldn't have a problem. But it's just too many mosquitoes. I have a couple more pins nearby, at least one. Let's go check it out. So now I'm gonna check out a place called Normal Lake Campground. This was an old state forest campground that shut down and it's no longer being used. You can stay there for up to 14 days. It's on forestry campground land and uh, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully it's not full. Supposedly there's campsites all over back here. I think that was the road in. And I'm confused because Right there's a fire number. But at the same time, there's a forestry service road. Okay, this is it. Because I can see the old campground posts. Sure, there's a site. Look at that, another truck camper. Sweet. Hopefully this place is not completely full. I've owned many of 
of those old campers in my day. Well, the further we get back here, the less people there are. So far, there's just two people here. This is really nice. Picnic tables are still here. It's all completely free. Please tell me that there's sites way down here on the end with no people. Sweet. Heck yeah, man. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get pulled into one of these sites here and we'll get set up. I should be able to fix with the airbags. That's almost perfect. There's a little bit of garbage here. That I'll burn. I'm just gonna walk this a little bit and just kinda get a feel for how far away I am from those other people. Quite a ways. Look at how big the sights are. Mint. Look at that, there's lake access. There's a heron out there, way too much weeds for me. Be no way I'm casting out into that. They stole the handle off of it. I'm sure it still works just fine. Just that the handle's gone. Looks like this goes down to the lake. This is beautiful. What? Check this out. There's a platform right there. The rope swing hanging there. I think the swing is still in good shape. How awesome is that? You can see they have the rope tied between the two trees and um, it's really heavy duty rope. That could be fun. They have another little tree, a jumping platform. This lake is really super clear. beautiful. My hands have been getting bit by horse flies and mosquitoes. Feels like it's swelling up. Let's get back to the camper. Want to see something awesome? The ITS County Sheriff just drove through. How awesome is that? I thought we were gonna be out here in the middle of nowhere, see a sheriff drive through. It's mint. Anyways, look at this mess. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I got some work to do. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I gotta get this camper put together. Well, I got the camper all cleaned up, put back together, been watching a little bit of the office on TV, you know, that's one of the shows I watch on DVD all the time. I got the box set. So, I'm gonna call it a night. We'll see you guys in the morning.
Before we do anything, we gotta get this coffee going. Not sure where we're gonna stay tonight. I got zero plans. Hopefully we can find another campground. It's as quiet as this one. Getting her all packed up. I open this window a lot, but when I'm driving on the road, Gotta make sure you close it, otherwise the carpet, bug gut city. I'm still wondering though how a campground like this just gets forgotten about and closed up. Here's one spot where the fire ring and picnic table have been moved out. I gotta be careful though. I keep forgetting to put the cell booster down. I was just about to drive out. So all together, three of us here at this campground, it's got 15 spots. Nice campground. Minnesota's got so much beauty in this state. It's crazy. You guys will have to leave a comment down below where you're from and if your state has as many opportunities for dispersed camping as Minnesota does. And I'll be honest, southern Minnesota, not so much. But you get north of Brainerd, this is all over up here. Thousands and thousands of miles of forestry roads and logging roads. It's just awesome. I don't know if every state has that. I know out west you can get into BLM land, and for the longest time I wished that I lived out west because of the opportunities that they have for dispersed camping. Maybe you're from Minnesota. If you are, did you realize that there is this much land out here? All public land. Oh boy, this could be a problem. branch right there is the one that I'm gonna have problems with. I need a chainsaw in this truck and I've watched some other youtubers that have one I know Vic has one and he absolutely loves it I've never had a chainsaw that hadn't leaked bar oil it's the only thing that's stopping me from getting one is thinking that I'm gonna have all that leaking oil in the back seat so that's the only reason why I haven't got one yet I would normally run around with a sawzall but I got rid of some couches at my house the other day couch and a love seat 
and I took them apart with the sawzall so they'd fit in the dumpster. I just need to put it back in the truck. Looks like we made it, Forestry Road 3146. And there should be a campground down here. This is just another one of those single campgrounds on a bull lining. There's actually two of them here. I'm not gonna take the second one though. There's already someone set up in the first one and uh, that's way too close for my liking. Let's just go check the end of the dock, see if maybe do some fishing here. Oh wow, look at all the tadpoles. Just tons of them. No, they're little bullheads. Crazy. I'm gonna try a spinner. See what we can do with that. Well, I think the guy with the camper just pulled his boat in. And he'll probably be docking it there, so it's probably not going to be a whole lot of room for us to fish. But next time I go out, at least I'll be ready. So there's an older couple. They were the ones staying at the camper there. And you know, I'm sure they'd have no problem with me fishing off the dock. I mean, it's public use. But they're going to have their boat pulled up there and I don't want to be casting over their boat or anything, so we're just going to go find ourselves another lake, another camping spot. I'm not sure of the lake that I'm going to next. I'll let you know when I get there, but I'm north of Leech Lake, a little bit to the east. So we're on Lake Winnebagosh right now, right before a pretty big resort on the end of a dead end road. Well, you could see there was a lot of cars in that spot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see if there's any more spots where we can pull off on that road, It'll be right on the side of the lake. I saw a couple, but they're really small. Let me show you what these other pull offs look like. Nothing else, it would be beautiful here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get remotely close to level. And I definitely don't wanna get my tires too far down in that sand. morning. Day two. I'm going to catch fish today. Promise. Probably not. Definitely a beautiful campsite. I'm going to make some coffee this morning, toss a line out, and then we're going to get heading out. If you guys decide to come here, know that, uh, and you want to find this place on Lake Winnebagosh, just a lot of black flies. That's it. A little bit of gnats at night. No mosquitoes, no horse flies, just black flies. And uh, they bite as well. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna get the coffee going. I'm gonna try doing some fishing. You guys stick around. The 
plan today is to go find a bait shop. We're gonna pick up some live bait. I think that will make all the difference. It'll be nice to have the legs take a break from getting bitten by all those flies. We're gonna stop somewhere along the way, find a boat landing somewhere, and guarantee these leeches, they'll catch a smallie or crappie, sunny, something. Well, they got a dock here, so I figured let's give it a try. It doesn't look like a whole lot of structure out there, but now that I got some live bait, I think I'll probably pull something in pretty quick. Going back to basics, just a simple hook and sinker, throw a leech out there. I know I'll catch fish this time. Well, hopefully this rain can hold off. It's starting to sprinkle out pretty good. The bad news is I don't see any fish down there. <laughs> Look at that. I get to go to work tomorrow. Settle. Who says I can't catch a fish? The good news is, I'm out of the slump. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't count that as a catch, but... I'm gonna now because I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not going to work until I catch fish. So that's out of the way. But that means we got this video in the bag. So until next week, guys, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.